Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812 Six two zero zero seven six nine. Again, that is eight one two six two zero zero seven six nine. Farmer owned, farmer values. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers, unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 227-9421 or just visit our website. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. 
talk and they will hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today. 812-883-4154 In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. 
Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. We're good at Madeline and Chance's just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one car, two bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym so insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Welcome everyone to T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators do take on the Crothersville Lady Tigers tonight. This is Craig Akers. I'm joined by my broadcast partner, Mr. Ryan Bat. Ryan, we're getting to spend a lot of time together. Hey, we've been together two nights this week. People yeah. will be talking. <laughs> so the, the Lady Senators come in off that loss to Orleans. Um, you know, they traveled over to the doghouse and just weren't able to get the job done. Lots of, lots of turnovers. I think I had them for 24. Uh, turnovers and then Orleans I had with 34 deflections in the passing lane I told you I was going to get that yeah. stat and I did it was 34 um, so Lady Senators looking to turn that around tonight with their game here against Crothersville it is a varsity only so we are early if you're if you're uh, out there thinking you're here in JV first you're not it's all varsity tonight only one game so Ryan, what, do you, what are your thoughts tonight? How do we right the right the ship from, um, you know, that Tuesday night game? Well, you know, I mean, just to recap that Tuesday night a little bit, I mean, you know, we we, we did a lot of things right in that game. I, I still think we played with them. I don't think they set a momentum, and I don't think we set a momentum. But, you know, we, we did get some box outs. I know there the turnovers kind of got a lot there for us in the first little bit. They came out of the 8-0 run. Uh, you know, we called a timeout, which was very smart, and, and uh, kind of got reorganized to come back together. And I think at one time it was – you know, uh, and there maybe in the third quarter we got it within eight or ten or yeah. something like that. And, uh, uh, you know, like we, we did a lot of things, but we kind of just kind of got ourselves off guard a little bit. And I think I think we I think we learned from it. I think we're going to come back in tonight. And I think tonight we just got to get out and we got to get back into our old routine. I know uh, we talked about this just here a few seconds ago. Just cur maybe we curse ourselves <laughs> or jinx ourselves <laughs> or something. But, you know, we always say that, you know, that the key to the game is get out and run and go. And, you know, you know, let, let's play. Let's make the other team play with us. And, uh, you know, I think it's one of those things that, you know, we're, we're just playing with the other team at most times. You know, I'd like to see the Senators be out, you know, uh, maybe 15 points, you know, first quarter, 20 points in the first quarter, and, and do the same thing for all four quarters. I think we need to be in the 60s tonight, you know, on the, at the end of the fourth quarter and the buzzer sounds, and, and hopefully the other team's far behind us. But, you know, I think we got to get that momentum going up into these next games. You know, we, we come into Springs Valley here, not to look too far ahead, but, yeah. you know, we come into Springs Valley here here on our court, which is a great thing, but, you know, team, the team that we got to look ahead and think, you know, these th this team's ranked seventh in, the, in class uh, 1A. Uh, you know, we're going to have this here should be a practice for us uh, we don't need to make it a ball game let's make it a practice so uh you know and not to take anything away from credit uh, look at the roster there a lot of freshmen and sophomores i yeah. mean that's all they got freshmen and sophomores but you know i, I think that's a, that's a good team there you know uh, the girls out here doing warm-ups doing shots they're hitting shots they're doing things just as good as we do you know we're, we're not so much a, a veteran team you know we're a young yeah. team too but uh you know we're led by our two two sophomores jayla and uh meredith and you know, Shelby comes into it, and we got some rotation off the bench. And, and uh, you know, tonight, I, I, you know, I think the key to the game tonight is, is we want to come out with a win. 
I think we need to do our do our fundamentals and basics right. There should be no reason that we should foul out tonight. No one should foul out, or no one should get even close. <laughs> but to being that's foul the out, good so. news. You know, we've got the whole JV right. on the on the bench too because of it being yeah. a varsity only contest. Yeah, and and hopefully the JV gets to play a lot tonight. I you yeah. know I don't know if there's 10, 12 or 14 girls down there tonight, but I hope all of them get to see playing time. You're exactly right. You know, Crothersville does come in there three and eight. We are in luck because Crothersville has only beaten teams this year that start with the letter C. So. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, West Washington does not start with the letter C, so we are yeah. in uh, pretty good shape. Crothersville did knock off Columbus Christian, Christian Academy of Madison, and Candleton. So oh, yeah. all three Cs, West Washington starts with a W, so we should hey. get a W tonight yeah. if we if they continue their pattern. That's good. We don't um, even have a girl in our roster. His name starts with a C, so we we're go. good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, head coach Curtis Watt for uh, Crothersville is in his first year, um, you know, trying to get a, a program going. They've had – uh, some success. They were a sectional champ the first time in school history. Um, Darren Russell's, I believe it was his second year of coaching yep. that they won that um, sectional. So they they have won sectionals before, but they're they're trying. They're going through a rebuilding period now, getting getting um, some players back. And like like Ryan said, you know they are predominantly freshmen and sophomores on their team. They do have one senior, JoJo Clay, yeah, that plays do. for them. Um, but, you know, all, everybody else is a freshman or sophomore, and they only have two sophomores. So, yep. you know, a lot of underclassmen here. Um, so it's a great opportunity for the Senators to get out and show, you know, just what they can do in this game. Um, those of you that did get the press release, we do have one number change. Number 40 on your press release, uh, Kendra Kelshaw is wearing number 15 tonight. So she is number 15 for the game here tonight. Um, we're about 35 seconds away from our national anthem and starting lineups. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to all of those sponsors that allow us to bring these games to you. Those of you tuned in on WWSR, you can uh, tune in on the IHSA website um, and see our game tonight. So that's a, a great opportunity for you. We're going to step aside and go to the national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators are playing the Lady Tigers in a varsity only matchup tonight. The Lady Tigers do start a two guard, or sorry, a three guard set. Number three, Joslyn Gibson, the freshman, averaging four points, one rebound a game. Also joining her in the backcourt is number 10, Joslyn uh, Linderbrink, the freshman averaging two points, one rebound. The third guard is number 15, Kendra Kelshaw. <clears throat> the freshman averaging six points and seven rebounds. Two forwards for the Lady Tigers tonight, Kelsey Walker, the freshman averaging 1.2 rebounds. And then the uh, senior, number 31 that we talked about earlier, JoJo Clay, the senior, averaging nine points, five rebounds. They are coached by Curtis Wright White in his first year at Crothersville with a three and eight record. Lady Senator is going to go with their uh, starting lineup that they've gone with all year long. Number 12, Shelby Griffiths, the 5'4 senior, averaging five points, three rebounds. Joining her in the backcourt is number three, Emma Schmidt, 
the 5'4 junior, averaging five points, three rebounds. The third guard in the three guard set is number 10, Meredith Deaton, the 5'5 sophomore, averaging 14 points, seven rebounds. Then the two in the front court, number five, Jayla Batt, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 10 points, nine rebounds. Rounding out the starting lineup is number 32, Ava Woods, the 5'11 junior, averaging six points, four rebounds. The Lady Senators are coached by Mrs. Kristen Missamore. Well, Craig, I tell you what, I'm kind of disappointed already. I didn't get a T-shirt. I thought I was going to get a T-shirt when they threw them out. <laughs> well, you, know, you, should, you had me hyped up. You should talk to your daughter. She's the one chucking them out. I know. I'm going to have to get that day done for Tuesday night's yeah. game. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I think the Senators, you know, like I say, we, we talked about the things that need to happen tonight. And, you know, we need they all look positive out there. They're bouncing around, high-fiving and stuff. And, you know, you know, we, we talk about it every game, but we need to set the momentum for this game. You're exactly right. Um, you know, the, the game tonight is a great lead-in to, um, you know, this upcoming week where we do play Springs Valley. Lady Senators able to control the opening tip. Senators work the ball around the top. We've got cutters going everywhere. It comes to Jayla in the corner. She goes underneath to Meredith through her hands and out of bounds. Going to be first turnover for the Lady Senators. You know, a good pass. I, I know Jayla, she's, she's talked a little bit about being on the baseline and throwing that pass. And, you know, sometimes you got to throw it, sometimes you don't. But, uh, you know, that, that one there looked like a good pass just off Meredith's fingertips. Ball so comes in in the backcourt. Like Lady. Senators going to press. Yeah. There's a turnover, Meredith with that steal. That one up and good for two for her. Second turnover for the Lady Tigers. Shelby Griffiths goes up. That one no good, gets her own rebound, goes up again. Lady Tigers having trouble getting this ball in. They go over the top of the press where they leave it off for number three, Gibson. Gibson going to do a majority of the ball handling for the Lady Tigers. They're going to work it around the top, looking down low. Ava Woods draws the, the job of guarding on the other end. A turnover again for the Lady Tigers. Meredith Deaton with that two-point bucket. Makes it 6 nothing. Meredith get the, gets her hand on that ball again to tip it about four rows up into the stands. Yes, yeah, Senators doing a great job on this press tonight. Getting their hands up. That's that's a big thing that we got to do is get our hands up and look for that ball. We, we talked talk about the passes tipped the other night in the yeah. Orleans game. You know, we need to be part of that. Jayla does a nice job of getting her hand on that one. Bat deflects it out of bounds. Tigers get the ball in, and it goes right back to Gibson. Crowsville trying to set up their offense. They get it down low to 15. Kendra Kilshaw, it's a turnover. That one goes up in an and one opportunity for Jayla. You know, I said something to Jayla and Meredith both the other night after the game about just driving that ball to the basket. You know, there's there's some points where you you know you know you know you maybe need to set something up, but we you know whenever you're you're not in a rhythm, it don't hurt to take that thing to the basket. Yeah, you're exactly right. Jayla steps up, misses that free throw. We talked earlier about her free throw percentage at 52%. That miss doesn't help her at all. Yeah, she was excited about that 50%. <laughs> well, she started off at 14, yeah. so. Yeah, that's that's a long shot. We're going to have to get that basketball book goal in the barn fixed. Tigers able to get the ball inbounds. Now they're trying to break this Senator press. They do get it across, but we're going to pick up a foul. I think Meredith's going to pick that one up. And be her first personal. And, and playing a team like this is maybe just a little bit uh, slower on handling the ball. You know, it, it, you can get those silly fouls. You know, that's one of the things we talked about the Orleans game. We don't need a foul at half court. Yeah. It's going to be another turnover. Meredith with that one going the other way. Stops, hesitates, kicks it cross court to Schmidt. Schmidt unable to get that one. Ava Woods goes up and puts her first bucket in. 
Makes it 10 to nothing, Lady Senators. We said we wanted to start fast. Well, 10 points in the first minute and a half. Works yeah. out pretty well for this being is, fast. This is good. Down the lane. That one up, no good. Woods with the rebound. Woods going to go coast to coast. Leave it off for Deaton. Two-point bucket for her. Gives her six. We're going to take a timeout as they take a full timeout on the court. We'll be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead 12 to nothing. I didn't see exactly what happened on that one. Well, I think the timeout <laughs> hadn't quite got over, according to Mr. Newland. Well, there we go. And he let it run down. And Brett got a little bit excited giving the ball to Tigers. Senators still in that press. Shelby one-on-one -on -one right now. Fall back in a man defense. He's going to pick up a foul on Ava Woods. And, you know, like, I hate to say this again, Craig, but, you know, like, <laughs> we can't get into, into the – Silly fouls when we're, it's 12 to zero. Yeah. You well, know, and we're not we're not going to get any calls tonight. No, just, no. Just by the lead that we've got right now, nothing's going to be called in our favor. Right. So. Right. Tigers get the ball inbounds. They swing it around the top, trying to set up their offense a little bit. That one comes over to Gibson. Gibson puts that one up. It's no good. Jayla Bat with the rebound. Deaton off to Schmidt, down in the lane. That one poked away. Going to be the second turnover for the Lady Senators. Bring it back to Gibson over in the corner to 42. Nice bucket there by uh, Meredith Deaton. Was that Meredith six point? Uh, eight. Eight point, eight yeah. point, and they've all been layups. Looks like we're going to go five for five. There's a steal by Schmidt. Schmidt goes up and puts that one in. Gives her two on the night. Ooh. A little bit of a we collision. Have a collision there. on the other end. Deaton for a deep three bang. <laughs> She's feeling it. Yep, that's 11 for her. 19 to zero, Senators ahead. Still in the press. Comes to Ava Woods, that's turnover number seven. Jayla goes up, that one no good. She'll be there for the rebound and gonna get fouled. Now 24, Kelsey Walker picks that one up, her first. Shelby Griffiths goes to the line, the 5'4 senior, 55% free throw shooter on the year. Looks like we're getting ready to make a big substitution here for the Senators. Yeah, it looks like a 5 for 5. 5 for 5, we're going to leave Shelby on the free throw line, take the others out. He's going to bring in Elena Schmidt, uh, Macy, Lowry be out there, um, Lily, Lily Thompson. Thompson, and Layla Manship's coming in. Shelby hits the second. That's going to bring in Adele Brown, hot roller self, <laughs> coming into the game. <laughs> Tigers trying to get this ball in. It comes in, goes to the center of the court, which is where you want to keep it in the press, and then it's brought up into the front court. So Lady Tigers are able to break that press. Let's 
Nice move there. That was a great move. <clears throat> by JoJo Clay. JoJo had the position there on, on uh, Layla and, and did a great job for the Tigers. That's her first bucket of the night. First points for the Lady Tigers makes it 21 to two. We feed down in the post to Manship. Out top to Lily Thompson, lets that one fly. I think it's partially got, blocked. Yeah, got a piece of that one. Lily's got that shot where she doesn't quite jump whenever yeah. she shoots a three-pointer, and sometimes that can not be in your favor. That ball going to stay with the Lady Senators. It goes off the head of a Tigers player. So 3.04 left to go in the first quarter. And kicked into Adele Brown. Senators going to work it around the top in their offense. Goes in the corner to Manchip. Keep swinging it. They keep moving it. They're looking to get it all the way across. Over to Schmidt on the far side. Knocks that one in. That was a nice in. shot. Elena squared up. Got a good get her feet set. Wide open and made a good little 15-foot shot. Elena that Schmidt one. on the steal. She's feeling it. That's She's a three. It. That she one no good. <laughs> Rebound for the Lady Tigers. Manship able to take that one away. She leaves it off for Lily Thompson. Thompson chips in her first two of the night. 25 to two run here for the Lady Senators. Seven Senators in the scoring column. Yeah. Tigers get it into the front court, and 42, Brooklyn Bottorf knocks in a two-point bucket. That's a nice shot. Senators looking to set up some offense. Minute 42 to go here in the first quarter. Ooh. I think Elena was throwing that to the Tigers yeah. coach. <laughs> He's kind of joking around with her, saying, don't throw it to me. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not on your team. Yep. Yeah. In comes number 23, Hallie Burton. Thompson with that steal. Leaves it off for Macy Lowry, gets in the scoring column. Macy made a good move there. She did cross over and come back with her left hand. I want to head two Tigers there, able to get it. They're going to turn it over underneath their own bucket. Schmidt comes out with it the other way. Holds up, leaves it off to Adele Brown. Hot Bang. row. Hot row nails it. That's a good shot. Makes it 30 to 4. Going to be another turnover. That makes 12 in the quarter for the Tigers. Oh, yeah, we're still in the first quarter. Yeah. 54 seconds. Coming into the backcourt to Adele Brown. Well, he thinks about a shot for a second. Comes into Manship. Manship unable to control it. Tigers in a in a look what looks like a 3-2 zone. Yeah. That was a very interesting pass from, from Layla. She tried to throw it forward, but unable to get it going forward, so it went backwards out of bounds behind her. Lily Thompson going to inbound the ball. Another three-pointer put up there by Schmidt, unable to knock it down. But Layla Manship going to be able to get a jump ball out of it, so going to stay with the Senators. You know, I'd like to see the Senators work on some offense here. Uh, kind of got some JV players in there and, and, you know, somebody that don't know your offense, pass the ball around and kind of move it. Yeah. Get stuff set up. Elena's going to come out the top of the key and set something up here. Yeah, going to set up a pass to Lily. Yeah, that's who right. She's going to knock in a three-point bucket there to give her five. Lily with the steal. Going to go up and put that one in. 14 seconds to go here in the first period. That one ahead, another turnover. Macy Lowry off to Thompson. Thompson lets it go again. That one no good. Manship there to get a rebound, but then going to stay with the Lady Senators. 1.1 to go. I think they're going to turn this one around. I think it's going to go off of Macy Lowry's hand. Yeah. 
So 1.1 seconds to go. Lady Senators up 31. So that brings us to the end of the first quarter. We're going to step aside, have a short commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812 849 2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here on the Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead 35 to 4 over the Crothersville Lady Tigers. Um, all Senators in that first period of play, they were able to get one, two, three. Nine or ten. I've got them for 10 yeah. different players in the scoring column. So um, I believe the only ones that haven't scored yet are Layla Manship and Laney Cameron are the only two. Evo. Oh, Evo Tool. Evo Sorry, I, I don't have her in. So those are the only ones that that haven't scored yet. So mm -hmm. well, we got uh, Shelby's in, uh, Ava Woods, uh, Emma Schmidt, Evo Tool, and Laney Cameron's on the court for yeah, the Senators. So we're looking to get. Um, kind of a different lineup here. We haven't seen this one yet this year. Lady Tigers get the ball in. They get it over the Senator defense. And then down into the post against Shelby. That one up and good for two from number 23. 23. 23, Hallie Burton. Going yeah, off the woods around to Schmidt and underneath to Eva. Eva turns it over there. Lady Tiger's gonna come back the other way. Burton with the ball out top, hounded by O'Toole. And comes back to 22, Pilgrim. Down in the post to JoJo Clay, nothing there. Ava yeah. Woods follows her through. Back out top to Burton, set up some offense. Tigers finally moving the ball around and kind of getting some stuff done. That's a two-point miss, and the Senator's going to come out with the rebound. Shelby going to drive the lane, go up. That one no good. Yeah, Shelby's got to go a little bit harder on that. Not going to call that foul 35 to 6. Yeah. Tigers moving the ball around the top, trying to get their offense going down in the post to Clay. Clay against Woods, nothing going there. So they kick it back up top, back into Clay. Woods, nice defensive job there. Going to be able to come out of there with the rebound is uh, Laney Cameron. Nice crossover by Schmidt. That one up and good for her first. No, oh, sorry, her second, second bucket of the yeah. night. Gives her four. Emma been a valuable player to our team this year as far as being in the right places at the right time, getting the rebounds, doing a lot of positive things. Yeah. I was telling Coach uh, last night in our Senator Sports Talk, Emma is leading the team in the plus minus. She's a plus seven for the year. So that's a – that's a takes in all accounts of everything that you do on the floor in the minutes you play. Yeah. Going to pick up a foul there, I believe 42. Brooklyn Bodorf is going to pick that one up. Yep. But to be a plus seven halfway through your season's pretty, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Which tells you, you know, she's doing a lot of the little things because she, you know, is averaging about five points a game, and to be a plus seven, averaging five points a game. When you've got two other girls who are averaging in double digits and uh -huh. you're leading the team, you know, that's a yeah. <coughs> Jocelyn Gibson picks up that foul. Shelby's going to go to the line. Shelby Griffiths, the 55% free throw shooter. 
Misses the first one. Senator shooting 50% on the night, two of four. I believe Shelby shot the first free throws, didn't she? Yeah, I think so. Second one up and good. Shelby's got a good shot, kind of soft. And that ball, when she misses it, it really don't go off the rim very hard or get too far out. Off to Laney Cameron. Cameron tries to throw it, unable to get rid of it. It's going to be a turnover back the other way, so the Senators and Tigers trade turnovers. And then 15, Kendra Kelshaw with her first two-point bucket of the night. Eva knocks that one in for two. Nice job by her. Shelby Griffiths at the other end. Lays that one in after the turnover. Gives her seven. Tigers trying just to get any offense going at all. Ava Woods with a nice job getting her hand on that ball. We're going to go five for five again. Yeah, uh, let's see. you got got Lily Thompson coming in, Jayla Batson, Layla Manship, uh, Meredith Deaton, and uh, uh, Adele, Adele Brown, a hot roll herself, back in the game. Senators now dropping back into their defense, Lily Thompson with the steal. Goes up and puts that one in. Gives her nine. Interesting thing that happens. We'll see who's going to be the leading scorer tonight. <laughs> well, right now, Meredith's leading with 11. And then Lily's right behind her. <laughs> and Jayla takes that one away at the half-court stripe. Goes in for a layup. Gives her four. 46 to eight. Just under four minutes to go here in the first half. We'll leave it off to Kelshaw. That one no good. Going to get two misses there for Kelshaw, but gets her own rebound and then going to go to the line. So Kendra Kelshaw, the freshman, only a 47% free throw shooter. So Layla Manship's going to pick that foul up for the Senators. Up and good for Kelshaw, her first, or sorry, her third point of the night, first free throw for the Lady uh, Tigers. Second one up, it's no good, Back comes out with the rebound. Swings it across to Deaton, Deaton for three. That one no good. Tigers out running the other way. Meredith Deaton tries to save that one inbounds, but unable to do so. Lily Thompson steals that one away. Nice run through there by the Lady Tigers. Going to be a jump ball. Be Senator's possession. Yeah, on the alternating. So Jayla going to throw this one in from underneath. Comes into Deaton, thinks about it, and then gives it back to Bat, who goes under. Nice one-handed hook shot. Is that a? That's a. Did, did you teach her that move? Not really sure how she shot that left-handed, but no, I did not teach her that. That's not your high school go-to move. No, <laughs> I was. About a blind, as blind a left-handed shooter as you could be. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers working this one around the top. Layla Manship gets a hand on it. Tigers going to get a shot up, but unable to knock it in. Jayla Bat for three. Oh, no, oh, nice pass. It. Nice pass underneath to Meredith Deaton. Had me fooled. Yeah. I called it a pass. That looked good. I probably taught her that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers work it down underneath. Couple of power dribbles. Nice job there, but then they're going to turn it over out of bounds. 
It'll be turnover number 19. We've got Macy Lowry and Elena Schmidt checking in for Jayla and Meredith. We don't need a senator to take the ball out. <laughs> Lily's going to move over and just throw it in herself. <laughs> yeah. It's going to go into Adele. Over to Thompson. Thompson for three. Bang. Got it. It gives her 12. Tigers. Back trying to run offense. They look underneath to Kelshaw a lot. They're looking to get her the ball. You know, and Kelshaw does a good job under there. Yeah, you know, she does I, a good job she's, of stealing. She's probably the second biggest big that we faced this yeah. year. I think the, the – uh, was it Bond for Mitchell? Yeah. Uh, you know, was the, probably the biggest we saw. She's probably the second. Uh, she does a great job down there at Sealand, and it's just kind of getting her the ball. Thompson going to bring the ball up. She drives down the lane. Nothing there. Over to Brown. That one deflected. Nice hands there by Bodorf to knock that one out. 53 to 9, 137 left to go here in the first half of play. Brown looks to set up some offense. Thompson goes through. They flash, give it to uh, Macy Thompson. Macy. Or, or, or <laughs> Macy, Macy Lowry <laughs> takes Macy Lowry it. does yeah. a nice job. She's yeah. going to go to the line. Pass from Lily Thompson. Yeah. Pick up a foul on 15. JoJo Clay, her second. Lowry goes to the line where she is a 57% free throw shooter. That one up, no good. Lady Senators hovering right at that 50% mark. Three of six. Second one way short. Tigers get the ball across half court where they're met in a trap. We're going to get a jump ball. We'll stay with the Lady Tigers. They're in a stack minus one. Yeah, I think that's a play there. That, yep. Yeah. And like we stated earlier there, that uh, Kelshaw gets the ball underneath, and, and especially whenever everybody was up in the stack formation on the sideline, they kind of left her and Layla one-on-one -on -one down there, and she's yeah. probably a little bit bigger and taller than Layla. And she got her in a foul. Kelshaw goes to the line where she misses Ooh. the first. That one got all the rim and the backboard. <laughs> yeah. But unable to knock that one through, so she goes to the line for a second. Misses that one. Able to get her own rebound. It's a deep three by Walker. She's going to miss that one. Layla Manship going to bring the ball up. Under a minute to go. Nice move there by Layla. Misses that one. Macy Lowry able to get the rebound, though. Unable to get a shot back up on the board. So still going to be Senator Ball 53 to 9, 52 seconds left to go. Comes into Thompson. Thompson thinks about a three. Doesn't pull the trigger on it. Goes down the lane. Puts up a floater. That one no good. Gets her own rebound. Gets that one blocked. Gets that rebound. Yeah. Lily's everywhere. We're going to pick up a foul. I believe they're going to get Bottleworth on this one. Well, nope. Kelsey Walker picks up that personal. Manship misses the two. The Tigers off running the other way. Thrown into the front court. There's a three, that one's short. Going to be rebounded by Layla Manship. Thompson, or not Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> now you've got I me got doing you it. you saying it too. Yeah. Lowry flips that one up, unable to get it to go through. 24, Kelsey Walker, her third. Lowry back to the line. That one up and no good. 
Mel Lowry, a freshman, coming in here and playing some varsity minutes and, and been an asset to our team. And she, she's got a nice shot, a free throw shot. She takes her time, squares it up, and shoots. That one goes in. That one falls through for her to give her three on the night. There's a three-point bucket by Bodorf. Gives her five. Lily from half court hits the rim. Off the front of the rim, unable to knock that one in. That brings our halftime score to 54 to 12. The Lady Senators are leading. They've got two players in double digits already. Meredith Deaton with 13 and Lily Thompson with 12. Then you have Shelby Griffiths with seven. Jayla Batt with six. Emma Schmidt with four. Elena Schmidt with two, Adele Brown with three, Ava Woods with two, and Macy Lowry with three. So only two Senators haven't scored yet. That's uh, Layla Manship and Laney Cameron. The Lady Tigers are led in scoring by Brooklyn Bodorf. She's got five. Kendra Kelshaw has three, JoJo Clay has two, and Hallie Burton has two. Lady Senators are four of nine for 44% from the free throw line. Lady Tigers are one of four for 25%. Two-point range, Lady Senators, 19 of 28 for 68 percent. That's a shooting. Uh, you like it when you're 68 percent from the field for a half. Yeah. <coughs> um, the Lady Tigers are four of 11 for 36 percent. Three-point range, Lady Senators, four of nine for 44 percent. Lady Tigers did knock in that one three-pointer out of four, so that's 25 percent for them. So overall from the field. 23 of 37 for 62 percent for the Lady Senators. Lady Tigers are 5 of 15 for 33 percent. So we're going to go ahead, step aside, have the commissioner's corner, um, and be back for more basketball action here. Second half, Lady Senators up 54 to 12 over the Lady Tigers. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. It is our weekly conversation with the Commissioner from the IHSAA. It is the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King, and for the Coach Bob Lovell, who will be back with you after some vacation time in Florida, Florida. Paul Neidig is our guest. Paul, great to be with you, my friend, after what was another spectacular IHSAA football state finals. Uh, just wrap it up the football season. It always flies by. I mean, heck, it started way back in early August. We're talking now here in early December. Just to put a bow on the football season, what did it mean to you? Well, it, it, like any time we, we wrap up a season, it's time to celebrate the, the wins. And, you know, the wins are much more than just the scoreboard along the way. But it, we celebrate those wins. And then, you know, we'll already have some conversations and we have in the office about, uh, about next year. You know, it, it, it's a revolving door, so to speak, when it comes to state tournaments and year after year. And, you know, we're not going to sit on our laurels. We're going to continue to look at this tournament. And, uh, you know, I would say that next year, 2024, we'll be back better than ever and I'm sure there are going to be some teams that are working hard today in the weight room and they're preparing to get back and 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 hopefully we have some teams that haven't had the experience of a state championship or at least a participant be able to participate in the state finals uh, work their way into that spot for next year and we're certainly ready for that. Paul Nattig's with us. Paul, every state finals is fun to cover, but I think especially this one. Of course, your hometown, North Posey Vikings, were there, but you know, the Crown Point coming down from the Northwest. There were multiple teams from Fort Wayne, along with multiple clubs from Indianapolis. It just kind of felt like a melting pot this year, man, where you see all these different communities from all around the state coming down to Indianapolis. That was a cool weekend. Yeah, it was a cool weekend, and it's so cool for those communities to be able to do that. You know, Crown Point, I think that was their first trip, and North Posey, I know that was their second trip, and uh, it, all it does is create a little bit of hunger to get back again, uh, especially if it's not uh, old hat to you and your community. I mean, we have, uh, we, when it's 
when it's new, uh, people hunger for that again, and I'm sure uh, we'll be there'll be some teams that uh, right now are working hard to make that return trip next year. So, Paul, turning the page to basketball season, girls basketball was already well underway, but now we're into the boys basketball season. As many that listen on Indiana Sports Talk, it's all about the hoop scores now. Uh, does your day to day change at all when you turn the page to December and uh, focus on hoops? You know, for me, and not necessarily our assistant commissioners, it certainly does. Um, when they're, you know, they, they they close the door on one sport and, and and never completely close, but they're preparing for their state championships now, right around the corner here after the turn of the year. And uh, you know me, it's still kind of business as usual. I've got the the normal day to day to stuff that comes through the office, and you know people forget that the Indian High School Athletic Association is a not for profit. It's a business that doesn't use tax dollars to operate, and so we have a business entity that we have to run, and all those different types of things come into are things that I stay focused on year round and certainly focused on right now as we close out the calendar year and get ready for a new one. Paul Nottig is our guest here on the Commissioner's Corner. I'm Brendan King and for the coach Bob Lovell. Paul, the big thing this year as I was reading on IHSAA.org rule change significant across the basketball circuit. No more one and one. It's all about two shots now, right? Yeah, it is. You know, and it's not something, uh, you know, the way that works is the National Federation of High School governs the rules of of basketball and other sports. And, you know, it's not a rule that certainly Indiana was necessarily in favor of, but, you know, the majority won and the Federation changed the rules. So we're going to embrace that rule and make a change. And I've had mixed emotions on it. I've had people say, you know, it certainly changes the strategy of the game a little bit. And others uh, the call fall a little bit more in my camp and the traditionalists and one on one's been a part of the game for a long time and I, I just didn't see uh, I didn't see that part of the game broken and so but it's here we're going to embrace it as I said and we're going to uh, we're going to see how it goes this year and I'm sure with all the skills of Indiana high school basketball coaches they'll get their players to adjust to it in no time just fine this is the commissioner's corner I'm Brendan King Paul Nidig, the commissioner of the IHSAA Paul always enjoy catching up with you man thanks for this Thanks, Brendan, and appreciate everything you do. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, Caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, We will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, We also really love our community. If you're talking, they will hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? 
Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. Back to live action here at T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators are out to a huge lead here, 54 to 12. Lady Senators gonna come out with their starting five. Same way with the Lady Tigers of Crothersville. Yeah, we come out and kind of set the pace here. Yeah, we said we'd need to get out and run, um, you know, all, all year. And we definitely did it in this game. So 54 points and a half, pretty good. Clock is going to run the whole second half. So when you look at your screen, it's going to keep running. You're going to notice it. It's going to stop on free throws and timeouts. Those are the only two times it stops. So. Ball comes in to Meredith. Meredith thinks about it, doesn't pull the trigger. Shelby drives around looking to kick, kicks it off to Ava Woods. Nice jumper there by Woods. Nice shot by Ava. That's her fourth point of the night. Tigers get the ball up into the front court. Comes across to Gibson. Gibson drops it off to Bodorf. Bodorf picks up her dribble. Going to go to Kelshaw, then kicks it back out top to set up some more offense. Shayla Bat takes that one away. Goes out ahead to Deaton. Deaton with the layup. 15 on the night. That gets her season average. Deaton takes that one away. Going to kick it ahead to Griffiths. Griffiths goes up for that one, but going to be fouled. Gibson picks up the foul there. I couldn't tell who they gave that one to. So Gibson picks up that one. It's going to be her second. Shelby Griffiths to the line. That one up and good. Second one. Nice form there by Griffiths. Gives her nine on the night. 60 to 12, Senators out ahead. Gibson down the lane, kicks that one off. That's a three-point bucket, hits rim, but doesn't fall through. Meredith Deaton with the rebound. Breaks through, gets it to Schmidt. Schmidt unable to get it. Deaton with the rebound, misses that one. Bat with the rebound and finally knocks it in. That gives Bat eight points tonight. Come across the half court line there for the Tigers, and they, for some reason, just kind of threw it out of bounds. Yeah. Not sure where that one was going. Meredith going to inbound to Shelby. Senators running through their offense. Couple of passes. Back out top to Shelby. Shelby gets into the lane, leaves it off for Jayla. Jayla, nice bucket there for her. Get her in double digits. We got three Senators in double digits. Shelby with nine, looking to be the fourth one in double digits. Shelby trying to get that steal. Cross court pass. Into the corner. Shelby gets she a hand goes. on that one. Oh, she oh missed misses it. that one. Schmidt misses it. Back into Griffiths. Griffiths goes oh, up, up and, and one. one opportunity. Nice job there by her. Maybe we shouldn't have teased her too much on that. <laughs> Well, that gets her into double digits. Now she's got 11, looking for point number 12. To give that one to 42, Bodorf her uh, second. 
Shelby's free throw no good. But Deaton with the rebound leaves it off to Woods, who's unable to control it. Bat's got it. Yes. Gonna be a travel. Emma got that got that ball and drove in and noticed she couldn't go nowhere. Noticed Jayla open and that, you know that that's what we need to see. You know, yeah. that, that's encouraging to see that we're seeing the wide open people and you know she knew she couldn't go nowhere. Middle you know the smallest girl on the court. <laughs> you know that's one thing about the Tigers. They're not a, they're not a short team. No, they got some size. It's turnover number three of the half. And you know we it, you, we're talking about things that's you know. About about Crothersville, you know that they are working their offense. When they get the yeah. ball down here, you know we we pulled the press off. They're working the ball around, doing a lot of great things. Into Schmidt, Schmidt gets that one blocked. Good idea by Schmidt. Yep. Just in amongst the trees. Comes into bat. Nice bucket by her. He said, who's going to be the leading scorer? Well, Jayla's putting in the effort right now to be the leading scorer. She's yeah. got 12. And here comes five off the bench coming to the scores table. We're going to see this rotation happen on the rest of the night. Four senators on the rebound. Meredith takes it in. Meredith Deaton with the takeaway and bucket on the other side. Goes into Kelshaw. Nice move by her. That one goes up. No good. It gets her own rebound. get Jayla Bat for that foul. We're going to get five new Senators in along with two Tigers. Yeah, get Lily Thompson, uh, Adele Brown, Elena Schmidt, uh, Macy Lowry, and Layla Manship comes in for the Senators. Goes right back in to the paint, unable to get anything going, so swings back out for some offense. Thompson with the takeaway there. Nice move by Lily. You know what was <laughs> impressive about that? Lily's head never looked down. No. She never looked down to see where her feet was at or anything. She kept her head straight up. That's what a point guard is supposed to do. Ball comes into Lilly, going to set up some offense. Adele Brown for three. That one way short. A <laughs> little bit of an air ball there. Yeah. Oop. Tigers try to take it out of bounds without the ref touching it. As we said earlier, the clock will stay running. 70 to 12 here in the third quarter. Run around, nice. Open shot there, misses that one. Layla Manship comes out with it. Lowry trying to get a move, nothing there. Back out to Brown, knocks that one in for three. Gives her six. Manship does a nice job getting her hand on that one. Thompson with the block coming the other way, kicks it ahead to Lowry. Lowry, couple dribbles, up and good for two. Still got to get Layla Manship and Laney Cameron in the scoring book to get everybody in in the scoring column tonight. Another turnover for the Lady Tigers. Ball inbounded to Thompson. Into Manship, nice power dribble. That one up and hey. good, going to go to the line. I said it. That was a good call, Craig. <laughs> I said it. Layla puts that bucket in, so Manship gets her first two points of the night, the 5'7 sophomore. Going to help out her season average of 0.6 points per game. So she yeah. scored two, so that's going to help out that average. You know, and we talked about – Layla coming in and being a big asset to our team. You know, if we, we don't lose size when if she got a sub in for Meredith or uh, Ava or Jayla, and, you know, she does a great job coming in there and getting those rebounds and boxing out. That free throw no good from Layla, where she is a 50% free throw shooter on the year. 
Lowry unable to control it, so going to go out of bounds to the Lady Tigers. Senators do lead 77 to 12. Nice job by Brown. Going to be a turnover. Schmidt gets that one. She's going to take it coast to coast. Put that Scores. one in. Nice job by her. You know, Craig, I'm thinking we put Laney in and, and just leave her in. Yeah. Senators get a little out of. Kind of get late getting back off of that, yeah. that play. And it looks like we're going to be down to seven, six, five, four. We'll get Lily for another half quarter. She's going for the money. Air ball. That one's short. So that brings the, the third quarter score, 79 to 12. Lady Senators do lead. We're going to step aside for a commercial break from the Youth Foundation. We'll be back in just a moment. If you're talking, they will hear you every single time. Oh, we're getting killed. Yeah, well, Kyle's not here. How come? Kicked off the team. Didn't Tim tell you? Kyle and some other kids got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Come on, it's a first offense, right? That we know of. But why should that matter? He knew not to drink. I've made it clear to Matt, that's what we expect from him. What have you said to Tim? Um, nothing really. You know, a lot of kids try it at this age, so. I... Yeah, well, a lot of kids don't try it too. I'm not saying that Matt's gonna be this perfect kid, but if I don't tell him what we expect and why he shouldn't drink, how's he gonna know? You think kids that age really listen? <laughs> they never admit it, Bill, but they hear more than you think. Talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with kids about underage drinking, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Back to live action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators do lead 79 to 12. We're testing Ryan's eyesight because on the wall behind us it says um, most points scored, so. Yeah, my, this, uh, Angie from Walmart Eye Care is not going to like me because I can't <laughs> read it from here. There's too much of glare from the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> I went to eye doctor yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> she said you had perfect vision? She did. She said it got better as I got older. Well, there you go. Yeah. But with my contacts out, I'm probably legally blind. So, <laughs> yeah. Macy Lowry's going to pick up a foul there on the inbounds play. Senators pressuring right now. Thompson Ball takes that one away. Senators going to come out. Lily going to set up some offense. Adele Brown for three. That one no good. Senators chase it down in the corner. Lily Thompson again. Thompson for a deep three. Let's that one fly. Bang. <laughs> that was a good shot. You can tell when she let that thing go, it was going in. That Rotation on that ball was spinning. 82 to 12. 7 10 left to go in the uh, second half here. It's a two point bucket. Nice shot there by Pilgrim. Ahead to Schmidt. Schmidt for three. That one no good. Manship with the rebound. Underneath to Adele Brown. You know, and, that, and that's one of those things when you're open, call for the ball, and Adele yeah. did. She, she was open, and they didn't quite see her. It was a good pass. Nice job by Schmidt to get her hand on that ball. Yeah, Lena, she's she's so fast. You know, you know, the speed is not a not a thing we, we lack here at no. the, in the Senators, Lady Senators anyway. Ball inbounded to Pilgrim. She's looking to get it off. She does. Nice job by the Lady Tigers to get that one going. Going to be out of bounds to the Tigers. You know, really? last week we was ta I was talking to Bubba about the speed of our athletes here, at the, yeah. you know, our basketball athletes, football athletes and stuff. And, you know, you're getting chased on the boys' basketball team is a speed demon. You got Lily and – 
and uh, Elena and two or three others on the girls' team that can just outrun anyone. So, uh, you know, we have some great athletes here. Yeah. Thompson takes that one away, going the other way. Goes into Manship. Manship, nice power dribble, unable to do it. So that's going to be a turnover coming back the other way. First turnover for the Senators of this half. Lowry almost gets her hand on that one. Pilgrim puts that one up. It's no good. We got all kinds of people on the floor. Yeah. It's going to be a jump ball. Brown going to bring it up across half court. We got five new Senators coming in. Lowry goes in to put that one up. No good. Gets a tip back to herself for the rebound and a jump ball is called. It's going to go to the Crothersville Tigers. Five more girls come in. Coach Messamore says we're going to let you girls play for a couple minutes, but you don't, don't expect to stay in very long. Yeah. I bet we're going to see him at the two-minute mark get switched out. We're going to go two minutes and two minutes. Four nineteen left to go in the fourth. <laughs> Jayla Back going to reach in, pick up her third. They're all, they're all running with their hands up wanting that score. Jayla's the one who gets it. Bat puts in her 14th point of the night. You know, Craig, you get in these games here, and it, and it, it is a blowout. And, and But, the you know, uh, Tigers are doing a, are doing a good job. It's, it's, they're just a young team and need a little bit more experience. But, uh, uh, you know, the girls are feeling good tonight, and hopefully this is a sign to get them fired up for Tuesday night. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, you, know you see a lot more hustle and teamwork and high-fiving going on than what we've seen in the past couple games. And, you know, I mean, we needed this coming in. Ava Woods gets that two-point bucket. Shelby with the takeaway. Kick ahead to Meredith. Puts that one in for two. Bat out on top of that. Hounding the ball. That one short. Schmidt coming out the other way ahead to bat. Couple of dribbles. That goes up and puts that one in. We got five new senators coming to the scores table. 92 to 14, Craig. So we got a timeout. Those of you who are in the house or who are listening, there are yard signs to be put out in your yard. Um, if you, um, we'll post a flyer here in a little bit that you can see how to register for that, but you pretty much post the yard sign, you take pictures of it throughout the month, and there's big giveaways through the Washington County Prevention Awareness Group. Is that who's, who's putting it on? Who's putting on the, the yard sign? It's prevention, is it Prevention Awareness? Okay, so Prevention Awareness is putting that on. Um, we will post a flyer to our website so that you can see that. But if you're looking for a yard sign, they are here at the school. You can check in with Darren Russell. He'll get you a yard sign if you um, haven't got one yet, if you're not in the building and want one, check in with him. He'll have extras to be able to put out in your yard. So uh, big thanks to the Prevention Awareness for sponsoring that event. It is through all three county schools. So if you're a Salem person, that Salem has them. Eastern, they've got them there too. So. Everywhere around, you can get a yard sign um, and, and join in the, the posting and, and sending out all the hashtags. Ryan, you're a big hashtag guy. You can get those right. out there. I'll hashtag it. <laughs> Put it on my Snapchat. There you go. That's the only form of communication I got. 
2.19 left to go here in You know, Craig, as we're, we're sitting here talking, you know, see the, the Crothersville head coach down there, you know, talking to the girls, explaining some stuff to them. You know, he's not giving up. Uh, that's a, you know, we talked about him being in his first, second year coaching down there for Crothersville. And, and uh, you know, that, that's that's what you like to see as far as, you know, another team that's down. They're down a whole lot. Can't even do the math on that right now. But they're down a whole lot. But the coaches down there are still coaching, explaining to his young team what's going on. you got to give that a heads up for them. That's that's a really good really good sportsmanship right there on him to keep his, keep his girls in good spirit and, uh, you know, still show them where they're going wrong and what they need to be doing. Nice bucket underneath by 31. JoJo Clay gets her fourth point of the night. Goes ahead to O'Toole. O'Toole chips in her her second bucket yeah. for four points. We need to get Laney Cameron. Oh, that's going to be a, a problem. We're not going to make it to the – Yep. they're trying to get to 100, I think, and we're not going to get there with an out-of-bounds play, so. Clock continues to run. That's turnover number 12 of the half. I think the referee's going to take his time walking over there. Yep. <laughs> Kicks it off to Adele Brown. Adele Brown for three. That one no good. Lady Cameron going to pick up a foul. That's going to end the game. The Lady Senators do, lead, do win 94 to 18, um, just an all-around effort by the Lady Senators. We get four players in double or in double figures. Meredith Eaton leads the way with 19. Jayla Bat with 16. Lily Thompson with 15, and Shelby Griffiths with 11. Also in the scoring column is Adele Brown with eight. Layla Manship with two. Ava Woods with six. Macy Lowry with five. Evo O'Toole with four. Emma Schmidt with four and Elena Schmidt with four. So everybody gets in the scoring column other than Laney Cameron. She does not score, but does pick up one personal foul. The Lady Tigers are led in scoring by Brooklyn Bodorf with five. JoJo Clay gets four. Um, Kendrick Hillshaw gets three. Hadley Pilgrim gets two. Haley Burton gets two. And Laura Redorf gets two. So great um, overall game for the Lady Senators. Yeah, the Lady Senators came out tonight, and, and they, you know, like I say, we talked earlier, we, they didn't let us – Crothersville didn't determine the fa the speed of the game. We determined the yeah. speed of the game, and, and you know, with the girls going out there and getting those fast breaks and layups and, and stuff like that, I think that was a momentum booster, and, and uh, you know, it was, it was just a great night. I think I think the girls had a, had a fun night, and, you know, like we said earlier, you know, there in the start of that fourth quarter, you know, the Crothersville coach coming out there and – uh, Curtis White, hats off to that guy right there. I yeah. mean, he's he's got a young team and he knows it. He's out there showing those girls. I don't know how many times he moved to different chairs and clipboards and doing stuff down there. Um, that guy right there, he you're gonna he he's gonna do, he's gonna do big things. I think uh, uh, he's got a team down there that he's got size, he's got athleticism. I think he's got to get everything going together and get a good flow on it. But uh, you know that that was a great great uh, great game we played there and, and uh, you know kind of a good practice warm-up type thing, you know, for the uh, Springs Valley Blackhawks coming in here next week. You're exactly right. Springs Valley does come in on Tuesday. Um, that will be our next live stream, but we do have two boys games this Friday and Saturday for the holiday tournament, so those will be um, streamed not by us. Borden Sportsnet will have those um, videos, so if you're looking to watch that game, not going to Borden, you can watch it there. If you're wanting just to listen to it, Bubba and I will have the call Friday night, 7.30, and then Saturday, depending on win or loss, um, you know, who, what time we play Saturday, but we'll have both of those. If you're looking to get out and do something, wrestling is at Jeffersonville on Saturday. They'll be there all day, so if you're in the uh, Clarksville, Jeffersonville area doing some shopping. You can stop in and see them at Jeff High School. Um, 
And then the elementary boys wrestling will be here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium all day Sunday. Um, so if you're looking to come out and support those guys, they'll be here on the Ron Smith court with their wrestling mat set up um, in the Southern Indiana Wrestling League duels, which they were, I believe they were runners up last year. So they're looking to do one better this year, um, but that will, we won't have a broadcast for that. But if you're looking for something to do Sunday, you know, you're sitting at home wondering what, what to do, come out and support the, uh, the Senator wrestlers. Ryan, final thoughts? Hey, you know, Craig, I, I tell you what, you know, we knew he was going to be a crowd favorite tonight. Uh, you know, I think we was projected there 15, 20 points on the, on the you know, pregame coming in. But, uh, uh, you know, we, we, did, we did good things. We, we, like I said earlier, we didn't let them uh, allow the momentum of the game. We set the momentum. We set the tone. Uh, you know, a field goal shooting, I don't know what we was for the whole game there, Craig, but it was – can you get you got that 62%. stat? 62%. 62% of the whole game. I mean, you know what – and we shot a lot of layups. Let's say we didn't, but we did shoot some 15-footers and we did shoot some three-pointers. So, uh, just an outstanding performance tonight by the Senators and something that we needed to carry us in. You know, we had a rough game Tuesday night at, at the, the doghouse over in Orleans and, and maybe a team that's – you know, I look back on it and see some things that maybe we could have changed and did and, and uh, uh, you know, things I think we'll work on going forward. But it's always good to play those tough teams that are ranked and, and uh, teams that, you know, have skill and talent and just keep us on our toes. And, you know, we're a young team coming into it too. And, and uh, you know, we're starting to get that feel. I think I think Coach Messmore is kind of figuring out, you know, where she's going to go and where she's going to kind of sub in. And it took a little few games to do it. You know, we're not well, – we're 9-2 and two now and, and – uh, uh, or nine and three, nine and three, nine and three now. Uh, you know that, that's a positive record going into the you know the Christmas holiday, and we're going to do some tournaments and stuff over there. And like I say, we got Springs Valley Blackhawks coming in here next Tuesday night. Any, any support we can get by our fan base, uh, you know, don't listen to us on the radio. Come out here and support us because these girls, the more hooping and hollering and cheerleading we can get, the better off we are. But you know, like again, I want to say thanks to my my buddy Craig here. He's he's been on the road all week. You know, we got we got this broadcast. If you ain't got nothing to do every night this week, Craig will be on here. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, Coach's Corner last night. You yeah. know, I ain't got to listen to it, but you want to go back and listen to some of that of boys and girls, both uh, coaches on there. Uh, that's something that I always forget on Wednesdays. So, uh, <laughs> like I say, that's something that's, that Craig's come up with this year. I know him, him and uh, uh, Bubba's been doing that and, and doing a great job. I listened to most of them, and I and, uh, got to listen to the one last night. But uh, uh, thanks to Craig and Bubba and, you know, everybody that helps out with all these games and everything because this is, this is pretty cool to have. And, uh, you still got your Black Friday special going on? Oh, yeah, still Black Friday special <laughs> going on. So those of you who are looking to get in, you didn't get in at a, at a great time because there were 33 games that were available. I yep. think now we're down to 27. Um, so you get 27 games for 100 bucks. Um, you get on and you purchase that, the season pass. It's it's still there for 100 bucks. So if you get on and do that, that gets you everything that we do for, I believe it's 12 calendar months. So if you buy yeah. it in – you know, January, it goes all the way through to, next the, to the next January. So, And, you know, as we talked earlier, you know, I was sitting, we talked about last night, you know, that we was kind of at a downtime at 7, 8 o'clock, and right before the NFR rodeo comes on, we're, I, was, I said, hey, girls, let's watch this here thing. You know, there wasn't no games on, but, you know, just because we're Senator Nation and we want to push the Senators, you know, if, if, if you want to go in and you buy the subscription, you can watch other games yeah. or you can watch past games. Yeah, so, that's the thing. You know, when, you, when, you buy it, when you buy it, you have access to all of the things that we've done also, so you can go yeah. back and watch the old games if you want, um, you know, a great, great option out there. Right, right. Well, Greg, I sure appreciate you getting making this happen because it, it makes it, it makes it's fun to set up here and do this but it's you know it's Ryan, also Ryan great. likes to watch us while he's at a pig show somewhere yeah that's right you know, he's, he that's sits right. And, and sends pictures of him sitting in his lawn chair <laughs> you know at a pig show watching the senators so yeah i like it <clears throat> the senators are victorious tonight 94 18 over the crothersville lady tigers like i said we will be back in action tomorrow boys basketball live on wwsr um senator radio they will play Borden at 7.30, so that's our next broadcast. Next girls game is next Tuesday with the Lady Senators taking on the Lady Blackhawks, ranked 7 in the state in 1A. So we will see you then.